to the boys. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, I Good morning guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. The lens is very dusty. So, um, for today's project, like I said, I was gonna try and put my muffler back on, my K2 muffler, and uh, I'm gonna be trying to do that myself. So, um, should be pretty simple. Obviously, I bought the welder now, even though it's a Harbor Brake welder. Uh, should be able to get the job done. I, like, I, if you watched a few videos ago, I was able to stick uh, some old exhaust piping together, although not pretty with this welder. It held up, so, we went and got a uh, tailpipe expander just to make it a little bit easier so I'm not butt welding it. But we gotta make a little uh, modification to it. All right, so here's the tailpipe expander if you've never seen one before. Essentially, you just you just uh, put a friggin' socket on the end, crank it, and this expands. But the problem with it being a Harbor Freight, you can see this nut's already kinda loose in here because poor design. So one of the guys that I saw a video on using this last night said to put tack welds around it. And that should hold this together because these pieces just kind of slide up over this. And so I'm going to do that really quick before I go chop the piece of exhaust pipe off because I don't want to be, I don't want to break this. I mean, it's probably a one-time use thing anyway, being Harbor Freight, like most things, but I don't know. We'll see if it works. All right. Now you can see there's a couple tacks on there, so hopefully they hold. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go chop the old piece of it, or the end piece of the exhaust off. And then I uh, try this out. And so obviously you gotta get the car jacked up, but just so you guys can see, I'm looking to cut right around here, and then um, this hanger right here is just bolted up, so it's bolted to the, the tow hitch thingy right there, so that won't be an issue. And then, yeah, just try my hand at uh, welding this muffler on with this cheapo welder. Okay, so I got it marked up to where I need to cut the pipe. Um, it looks like the muffler should fit, if you guys remember. I originally had this muffler on in the first place, but then my exhaust got ripped off and I just had the straight pipe put on uh, for something to put on real quick. But yeah, so cut it there and then cut the hanger off so I can move it back to here because there's a there's a hanger back here that I can use. And uh, I don't know, I guess we'll see if it actually fits with how the exhaust shop tucked this up. Okay, so we got it cut back, probably about a foot, um, and the muffler lines up pretty much perfect with the, the tip coming up to the edge of the bumper. So, it's pretty much exactly where I want it to be, so I'm going to try this pipe expander and widen that up just a hair, because this uh, barely needs to go in at all, and we got to grind down some of the old beads that are on this muffler. So been used quite a few times before but I think I can make it work pretty much just slides right in there just like that and then we're gonna be using this uh, what is this 19 mil yeah 19, yeah, 19 mil, mil socket and uh, yeah you literally just turn it clockwise and it expands it oh, yeah, it's already doing it. okay. and like you can see I got a bunch of uh, gross built up weld there from previous uses on this thing so I'm gonna grind this back really quick with a grinder with a cutting wheel and uh, make it a little bit easier for us to slide this over without getting hung up on that all right so got the welder set up I think I got a good setting uh, I got the muffler in place I got one tack on this side so I'm gonna just go to the other side, tack it quick, and then uh, just try and work my way around and really just hope for the best. Um, like I said, this is my first time doing this, so 
I'm hoping that if I can do it, then some of you Simple Joes can do it as well. But uh, I don't know, just practice makes perfect, I guess, especially on a cheap welder like this. So just getting sleeved up so I don't ruin my arms, tattoos and whatnot. And uh, I'll set you guys up on the tripod so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. And so, quick update, I've got the welder, or the muffler, pretty much mostly welded on. I'm just trying to get this top piece, and obviously there's no room up here like you can kind of see. So right now I'm trying to just loosen the control arm so I can swing it down and pull the exhaust on it, or loosen up the sway bar. So it's got some play in it, but just not enough for me to feel comfortable using the welder up there. And uh, these welds, I'll show you some pictures and stuff of the welds I can do on the welder at work. They're good. This welder... Still being broken and still trying to find the right settings for it. So these welds look like straight up bird poop. But I mean, as long as it holds, it's all I need. All right. Well, the muffler is now it's just it's suspended. I still got to put the hanger on, but right now I'm gonna fire it up quick and check for leaks because the bird poop weld makes it very hard to see even with a flashlight if there's going to be any leaks or not so uh, uh, I guess let's check straight out the bottom. Alright, after probably a good hour of welding, um, I don't know, it's not leaking anymore, definitely looks like bird crap, but honestly this welder being Harbor Freight isn't going to be the best, but as long as it holds, it's all that really matters, eventually I'll get a better welder anyway, but for now I just want to put my muffler back on. So now I can put my control arm and my sway bar back on, uh, get the, um, the hanger welded up quick, just tacked on, and then it'll be good to go and we can go get some uh, audio shots of the uh of it driving so you guys can hear how it sounds but at least it's on all right so it's taken me probably almost close to three hours now in total but it is all done it's welded up it, i actually stripped out the uh, sway bar uh the part on the uh control arm that the sway bar bolts to half of the threads on that uh flattened out so i had to find a longer bolt and i used a a jam nut and a washer and it's all good now it, it tightened up snug but i used the jam nut to be safe but I even got a hanger on there. So, no, where's the hanger? Over here. So, doesn't look the best, obviously. You can see all the spots, but you know what? It works. I did it myself. I can say I'm proud of myself for that. Um, first ever time putting a muffler on, or at least welding one on myself. And I definitely do blame it on having a flux core uh, cheap welder. At least, especially at least a flux core AC welder. I, I guarantee if I had the gas Miller welder that was at work, it'd be, it'd be great. So, you yeah, know, I gotta get the car down on the ground and uh, we'll take it out, spin it around, and see how it sounds. 
and it should have a different tone than it did when I last had this muffler put on the car because then I had a DC sports header which is basically an OEM replacement it's pretty constrictive or restrictive and this one is a four to one not a four to two to one so that's why my car straight pipe had more of a grumble to it so yeah I'm interested to see how this sounds now with this different header on it now that the uh, now that the car is done I need to go get food because I have not eaten yet today but just check the mail and look what we got JB tuned to send in the uh, the hoses and the fittings for Dylan's for Dylan's car and a uh, shirt and a banner so that way I can hang the banner up probably in here somewhere and then uh, put the shirt on right now see if it fits and uh, go get some food go get a burger look at how fresh this JB tune shirt is this is comfortable this is soft this is light but uh, if you guys want to get one or you want to get some of his stuff go hit his uh, website in the description because you're missing out you guys don't know what you're missing because you don't have it so you don't even know but you should go get some really and I'm gonna go get food so while I'm getting food you should go get some JB tune stuff right all right and on that note here's some GoPro footage of the uh, sound See how it sounds in VTEC though. I bet you it gets high pitched though. That's the only part that I don't like about Honda engines. But that's just me. I just don't like high pitch exhaust. You can hear my fender squeaking from vibration on acceleration. That's obnoxious. I gotta fix that. Somehow. Definitely isn't nearly as menacing as it was before, but that's okay. It'll sound better with the K series. Can I just do the four for four? Okay, what would you like to drink? Uh, Dr. Pepper. Anything else for today? No, thank you. Kind of sounds like one of the things. All right. So because I seem to have the best luck in the world today, and in general, 
Uh, I just got home, obviously, as you just saw the little outside audio clip, but I went to roll my driver window up and nothing was working. So either my window fell off track somehow or my switch is dead. So kind of uh, kind of sucks. Actually, that really sucks because now i got to figure that out, which means after I eat, I'm going to have to pop the door panel off and uh, figure it out. I don't know. All right, well, I guess I should probably try and figure out what's going on with this. Hopefully I'll get lucky and it'll be just the switch is um, unplugged because mine's fallen off a couple times before. But, I don't know. And I think that was it. See right there? How the switch isn't fully on for whatever reason, it just kind of vibrates loose. Yeah, there it is. So let's uh, give it some power and see if it works. I know my window has been having issues going up anyway since I did my little uh, spacer thing. I hope it will not rattle so much. So there you go. All right, for the first time pretty much ever, I got lucky. And this was an easy fix. But I still got to try and either take this fender off or take my front bumper off because something is uh, squeaking um, pretty much all the time. Any bumps, any vibration, like heavy acceleration. It's just like a little bird chirping. All right, now I haven't quite figured out if it's my fender or if it's the bumper that's squeaking, but I know the bumper does make some noise. And it's obviously kind of floppy, so I'm going to see if I can find a way to stiffen it up a little bit. Um, double check all the bolts that hold the bumper cover to the bumper support but I think I hear the squeak like right around here it's that like chirping you hear that yeah I don't know I gotta play around with this but it's somewhere right here so um, I want to pop this front bumper off quick and then smack around some more and see if I can't find what's squeaking maybe it's just a rock that I've missed that's stuck up there somewhere but I don't know we'll find out All right, well, I think I might have found it. This bolt right here is loose. That's, uh, I think that's what's vibrating. So I'm going to just snug that down and see if that works. I think that fixed it. So ever since I've owned my car, my front bumper's always sagged and stuff, and I've always wondered why, because it's sagged a good amount. Especially on the passenger side. It's always been, like, almost three-quarters of an inch sag. And uh, I got the bumper support out now. And right off the bat, I noticed that this side is resting on the ground. And this side is elevated. So I'm pretty sure that means this side is pushed in a little bit. I don't see any actual damage to it. But it just looks like it's a little bit bent. So I think that's... I think that whoever owned my car before me must have, like, tapped a pole or something. Because um, when I got the car, it had a 9091 front end on it, and it was kind of beat up. And uh, that would actually make sense, though, because the styrofoam is in good shape yet. It's down here, and there's no, definitely no frame damage or anything right here. This is all straight. So I don't know. It's kind of weird, though, so I'm going to just try my best to manipulate it. Okay, so I retract my previous statement. That kind of didn't make sense about him having a different front end. This front end I got from a junkyard when I first got the car because the 9091 front end was beat up. But obviously I got the bumper support with this car too. And now that I remember it, this uh, this dent right here, this torn up piece of the bumper, is exactly where the bumper support doesn't really fit that well. So I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I guess I'm just tired. But I bent it a little bit so I can get all the bolts except for this end one in. So... That should definitely help, and then whenever I stumble across another bumper support, I'll just snatch it up, and uh, hopefully my headlights and bumper will be pretty pretty much flush after that, but hopefully this helped a little bit.
So it's still not a perfect fitment, but I mean, it's pretty much as good as I'm going to be able to get it for now until eventually later on when I have the money to take the car to a professional um, to get paint and body work done. Then they can straighten that out for me, I'm sure. Um, I don't know. Today was a pretty productive day. I'm just stoked I got to weld my muffler on, get my first on my own car welding experience out of the way. So I think I'm going to wrap this video up here because I am just freaking exhausted. So going on like 5 o'clock already. And uh, I got to work tomorrow, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm going to just end this video here. So, um, I think this weekend might have some stuff going on. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we will find out. But, like I said, if you want to get some JB Tune stuff, go hit him up. If you want to support the channel and you want to buy some Atomic 7 stuff, like a skateboard or some art or something, then I'll have that link down in the description as well. That'll help me out greatly. And then, um, other than that, yeah. Stick around, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and remember guys, do what you love, forget about the rest, and I'll see you for the next video. Peace out.